The Hamilton Club, which you would have often uh, seen as a dilapidated old building, has got a complete makeover. It has now become the Tamil Nadu's police museum, the first of its kind in Tamil Nadu. Next only after Chennai, in Chennai, uh, remember uh, the museum that is there in Chennai is not open for the public, but this will be open for the public shortly. We shall take you through to give you a glimpse of what is in there. These are the rifles and the AK-47 that have been confiscated from the Forest Brigand Virapan. Forest Brigand Virapan had eluded, uh, you know, the cops for almost 30 years. He was into large-scale poaching of uh, uh, elephant tusks, he was into poaching of sandalwood, and he had even kidnapped uh, actor uh, Rajkumar and was keeping him confined for several months. So we have these, uh, besides these, we have uh, also the weapons that were con confiscated from Malayur Mamatian. And Malayur Mamatian, as you uh, all know, was a very important case. Uh, Mamatian had killed five of his relatives, and uh, he was at large for almost five years uh, before the police could uh, ultimately nab him. He was called Malayur, Malayur Mamatian because he always carried a spade with him and his, uh, you know, uh, facial profile, when you when you see it, his jaw resum resembled, uh, he had a broad jaw which also resu resembled a mamuti which is a spade. So besides these, you also have in store uh, the weapons that were used by the LTT in Sri Lanka, the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam, and uh, they constitute uh, uh, the sub uh, machine guns, the AK-47, the walkie-talkies that they used, uh, different types of machine guns, different types of uh, AK-47, rifle and uh, much more. I hope he's not annoyed about me standing here with him, the cop in a full uh, riot gear. Uh, besides uh, the weapons that have been confiscated from criminals, you have here at the museums also weapons that have been uh, that are being used by uh, the police force currently, uh, state of art uh, weapons and also weapons that dated back to the Second World War. So this is the dil dilapidated and. Uh, the erstwhile Hamilton Club, which was uh, very ill-maintained, and this got a complete makeover recently after uh, the commissioner, current commissioner of police, uh, Mr. A. Amalraj, took over. And this building, how did it this? I mean, a little bit for you about the history of uh, Hamilton Club. Hamilton, after whom this club has been named, was the superintendent of police during 1919, and he also went on to become the uh, commissioner of police madras city and thereafter he was the inspector general of police madras and mysore and uh, believe me when i say mysore was also part of madras city so uh, mr hamilton the, the then superintendent of police had purchased this property which is in the heart of the city for rupees i mean for as little as rupees 20000 from venkateshwara rao then and called this the police sports club. Say G. Krishnan, a popular industrialist uh, from Coimbatore, and what exactly are you reminded of? Yes, the counterfeit currency notes that uh, the CP CBCID had uh, confiscated from a, a guest house of his then in 1959. This was the machine that, that he used to uh, print the counterfeit uh, currency notes. Earlier, he was printing uh, rupees 5, rupees 2 and rupee uh, 10 notes. Uh, interestingly, remember that Coimbatore uh, did not have rupees 100 notes in circulation at all. Greed caught upon him and when he started printing a lot of uh, rupees 100 uh, uh, notes, people were very jittery. They were not accepting the 100 uh, currency rupee currency notes because they haven't seen it at all and this was when uh, the uh, information got to the officials uh, in the state capital and it was after that that cbcid was pressed into uh, was pressed into service to interrogate and uh, later on they confiscated these machines and also arrested uh, mr g krishna so this is the midget submarine that was confiscated in uh, mahabalipuram by the police this belongs to the sea tigers uh, it is called the Gokulan 293, belonging to the Sea Tigers, which is a wing of the LTTE. And this is also put up on display at the Tamil Nadu Police Museum. The Koei Post has brought to you just a glimpse of the Tamil Nadu Police Museum. You should get here to see more of it.
This museum will be open for the public shortly and is likely to be inaugurated by the Chief Minister Edapadi Parnisami. This is in fact the only police museum in the state open for the public view. Get ready to savor a visual treat.